Traditional Korean music is looking for ways to reach out to the world by innovative musicians bold enough to take a new venture. Korean bands and foreign musicians, Korean traditional instruments and Western ones playing classical tunes. It's a collaboration to create a completely new genre. Our culture spot tonight with Lee Min Young. Part of the greatness of music is how it brings human beings together, regardless of race, age, or even culture. That's how it is that the sounds we call Asian blend into the musical fabric of other very different cultures. First time it was 11 years ago in a festival in Australia. We were very impressed about the rhythmic. Things and uh, 11 years after, the music of Dulcery and the sound of Lojo try to do something together. Lojo is a French band that performs world music. They combine sounds from all around the globe, including Western folk music, gypsy tunes, as well as North African. Now they've added Asian elements to their recipe. This is Lojo's second collaboration with Tulsuri, a South Korean band that performs various kinds of Korean traditional music. Though they're from completely different cultures, there's no need to analyze, just listen and feel. I didn't feel that the two types of music were different. Their performance was primitive and rough, more like nature itself. I felt like dancing around naked. You may wonder how Korean traditional musical instruments can stay in tune with Western instruments. I came here to see for myself how these two different kinds of music can blend into each other. Norumachi is a Korean group that performs the Korean traditional percussion music known as samulluri, which has its roots in ritualistic chants or shamanism. Next to them is Synergy Percussion, a leading musical powerhouse from Australia. They're practicing for a collaborative performance slated for the 16th of October. There was the wooden moktak used for Buddhist chants, metal instruments like the ching, and the Korean traditional changgu drum. On the other side, I could see full drum kits with the bass drum, snare, hi-hat, and the marimba. It's a strange combination, but it has its own unique vibe. I'll show you how Timothy gets familiar with Korean traditional music by playing the sound most familiar to him, a piece by Bach. So that sort of mitigates some of the uh, difference in the sound quality because Chungu can be very loud, but as we hear in this piece, it can also be very soft and play a supporting role. So that really brings the instruments together very nicely, and uh, yeah, it's very fun to play. <laughs> it may have taken some time to get used to the sound of each other's instruments, but they've done an outstanding job creating a new work of art by blurring the boundaries of music. I see that the essence of the globalization of music and culture lies in interaction, how different kinds of music can easily fuse into each other. The absence of interaction can create uniqueness, but the music may lack universality. I hope we can get to know each other better through continuous interaction. As he said, the root, that is, the traditions long preserved by our ancestors, should be the very core. But like trees growing new branches and sprouting new leaves, embracing change takes us a step further and offers greater novelty to the world. Lee Min Young, Arirang News.